Okay, this is vlog 5, I think, and on vlog 4 there was a story that I started about Lindsay, and um, this is the second part to it. So, um, this year, yeah, this year, it's been going on since 7th grade, like, non-stop. I don't remember anything particular in 8th grade, but um, this year, I am sitting at my regular table with Carly and everyone else. <coughs> Sorry, I had a burp. Um, <laughs> I'm just that guyish, and um. So what does she do? She starts talking crap and gets everyone at that table to hate me, and oh my gosh, I'm so sick. And they kicked me out of the table. They made me leave. They said they were gonna beat my ass if I didn't. I was like, oh, well, I think I'll leave then. And so I left because I'm an idiot like that. And I got a new table with Sunny and Bryce where they sit. Because they sit at a different table because they sit with their guy friends. But me and Carly sit with them now. Well, I used to anyways. I sit with Austin and Brooke now. But it's confusing. And so, yeah. It's like three days later. And I'm like, okay. Things are fine. What happens? No. People have to tell Lindsay I'm talking crap. So she comes over and goes off on me when I'm at my table. My other table. After I moved because she made me. She followed me. Anyways. I mean, seriously. And so she went off of me. Yeah. And I was just like, okay, Lindsay, you need to calm down and go away. She's like, are you are you getting pissy at me? It's like, no, I'm not getting pissy at you. Did you really just say pissy? Uh, do, are you going to say potty next time? So, yes. Um, she left and went to Miss Knoll, our school counselor, with Valerie, who is my ex-best friend, apparently. And she's saying, oh, Miss, wait, no, wait, backtrack, before Miss Knoll's. So, um... Me and Carly take up our lunch trays, and um, I'm up there dumping off my lunch tray, and I turn around, Lindsay and Brooke are coming. This was before me and Brooke were friends again. She was mad at me for some reason. And so I'm like, oh, crap. So I set my tray down, and I see Lindsay, and I'm just like, I have this, like, sixth sense kind of thingy where I can tell something's going to happen. So I'm just like, oh, crap, she's going to push me or something. So... Brooke walks by and she pushes me and I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna get out of the way of Lindsay. So I'm like up against the wall. What does she do? She walked, she was on one side of the wall, I was on the other. She walked onto the other side and then pushed me more into the wall. I was like, oh my gosh. And so I go sit down. I'm really mad and people are going, beat her ass, beat her ass. It's like, I can't, she'll suffocate me. And this is when she goes to Miss Noel with Val. So she said Miss Knowles, she lied to Miss Noel and said that I shoulder checked her and was talking crap, and it's like, no. And I was like, Ex exactly how many times do you talk crap about me? She's like, oh, only a couple, actually. Really? Maybe to my face, but to everyone else? No. So that ends with, like, me going, okay, you're lying about everything. I really don't care. I'm not going to go and tell the truth because you've got Val here saying that I'm lying. Well, she made Val leave after a while because while, Ms. Noel was like, okay, this is getting us nowhere. And after that, Lindsay was all nice and nice. It's like, really? Really? She kept on lying about everything, but I was like, okay, I just want to get out of here. And so we leave, and I go back to bio, and Carly just about went off because she found out that Lindsay was lying, and I'm just like, okay, just point the storm on. So that's my little story. At the moment, we aren't, like, in one of our big fights. I need to blow my nose, oh my god. <laughs> we aren't in one of our big fights. Like, um, we're, like, social, kind of, like, um, not social, but, like, okay, kind of, like, um, we don't bitch at each other every time we see each other, every time we have to speak. Um, like, I'm, I'm nice to her. I've, I've never really been rude to her before she's rude to me. And so that is my story, the rest of my story anyways. And thank you for watching, and I will have more up soon. Possibly when I'm healthy again, I hope to God. So, so goodbye. Love you all. Blah, blah, blah. Peace. Peace out, home dog. I'll be like Ms. Mugu. Peace out. On my stick em friend list. Anyway, bye.